AI-enabled variable speed limit control. Traffic congestion significantly impacts our daily lives, with increasing travel time, environmental pollution, and safety risk. As a highway management strategy, variable speed limits, or VSL, has the potential to smooth the traffic flow, reduce the number of crashes, and therefore improving the safety and mobility benefits. VSL is used to inform the drivers the downstream traffic conditions. For example, VSL will post a smooth speed profile at the upstream of the congestion tail to help the drivers prevent a sudden break. After the congestion, the VSL will increase the speed limit to encourage a higher driving speed. Recently, artificial intelligence is advancing rapidly. As a subset of AI, reinforcement learning or RL embodies a framework where agents learn optimal behaviors through trial and error, interacting with their environment to maximize rewards over time. RL's framework has led to successes across fields, beating human champions in Go, driving autonomous vehicles, excelling in video games, and operating industrial robots. So, how does RL apply to managing highway traffic? Imagine a highway with one VSL controlled by a single agent. By observing the data from roadside sensors, the agent can select a speed limit for the corresponding location. When it comes to multiple VSL gantries, we introduce multi-agent RL, where each gantry's agent not only processes sensor data, but also communicates with neighboring agents. This collective decision-making process ensures a coordinated effort to enhance traffic conditions. To develop this system, we simulated the Interstate 24 network in Transmodular, a macroscopic traffic simulator. Here, agents undergo extensive training through hundreds of thousands of simulations, learning to determine optimal speed limits under diverse conditions. The Artificial Intelligence Decision Support System, or AI-DSS, is the software used to implement the decisions from AI to the field. With roadside sensors, the AI-DSS is able to obtain the traffic speed, volume, and occupancy data in every 30 seconds. Besides, AI-DSS is acquiring event information, like traffic incidents, in real time. Based on this information, the AI will make a decision, and AI-DSS will send back those decisions to the field. As of March 2024, AI-DSS has been in production for six months, with around 20,000 lines of code, 14 version releases, and seven contributors. Here is the driver's perspective when driving under AI-based VSL control. The AI is able to provide a smooth slowdown speed profile to inform the upstream drivers of the downstream congestion. When under congestion, the AI will post the 30 miles per hour, which is the minimum speed limit allowed on I-24. Afterwards, the AI is posting higher speed limits to improve traffic mobility. To monitor the system's behavior, we have created dashboards to visualize the real-time traffic data and AS decision. This visualization displays the time step, the category of either VSL or RDS sensor, mail marker, the real-time traffic speed of each individual lane, the average speed across all lanes, and finally, the speed limit decision from AI. The traffic is going from larger mail marker to smaller mail marker. The AI is sending its decision in real-time posting maximum speed limits during free flow conditions and dynamically adjusting them during rush hours. Our AI-enabled VSL system, which was launched on March 8, 2024, manages a 17-mile stretch of I-24, utilizing 67 VSL gantries to dynamically adjust the speeds every 30 seconds for around 200,000 daily vehicles.